Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Aisha Gia, whatever, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm giving you another vending video. I've decided to move my vending machine business 100% online. So in this video, I'll be telling you what made me make the decision to go 100% online with my vending business. What does this change mean to my supporters? Why I sold all my machines and if I'm quitting the vending business. And what you should expect in the near future. If you're interested to know my story, make sure you continue to watch. And if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new, thanks for watching another one of my videos. Let's get right into this tea. If you're new here, I want to give a slight intro. My name is Aisha G. I am the owner of Treat Yourself Goods and Services, LLC. That is a vending machine company here in Houston, Texas. I started my vending business last year, right before COVID started. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I used to go out and try to look for locations myself. And I used to try to find places to place my machines and all of that. And it was kind of getting a little hectic for me. And I think that because a lot of companies or the businesses that I was going to, they really wasn't really trying to talk to me like they was like yeah this is COVID we're not really trying to talk to anybody we definitely don't want a lot of people in our in, in our place right now because of how everything is and I couldn't do anything but respect that I mean you have to think about the time that we're in right now I got tired of the word no okay and the word no it's nothing wrong with the word no because you're gonna get a thousand no's before you get one yes so I definitely did get yeses and I definitely got no's, but I was just over it. Like I'm I'm over trying to figure out I'm I'm tired of driving around the city. I'm tired of cold calling and all that. So I'm like, how can I how can I grow in my vending business without having to do that part? And going 100% online was the best idea for me. Hold on. So I was really gonna keep this information to myself for a little while longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you guys. So if you're watching this video, you're lucky because you're gonna get the tea before everybody else get the tea. So I am actually moving out of the country. I'm moving to another country very soon, like very soon. So I decided to go ahead and move my, my business online versus in person because I feel like that way it'll benefit me and my customers a little bit more. So when I started my vending business uh, over a year ago, I vlogged it on my YouTube channel and I'm sure a lot of you guys followed me from there and you know, you just been watching my videos, which I very much appreciate. So with that, I also gained a lot of subscribers and I always get emails and I always get messages like, hey, can you help me? Can you tell me what I need to do next? Can you help me with this vending machine business? Like, what am I supposed to do? So what I decided to do was, what I decided to do was to take all the knowledge that I used to share with you guys and put it in an ebook. And I did start my ebook and I will link that down in the description. And also with that, I'm gonna start doing vending machine consultations for people like you who want to start their vending machine business but need a little help. That way, I'm still helping people and it's totally online so I really don't have to leave the comfort of my home. If you haven't watched my COVID experience video, make sure you go and tune into that video. That is a big reason why I'm over the in-person vending machine things. I. After I got COVID, I got really, really, really paranoid of everything. I kind of want to be out of the way as much as possible. So me placing machines in different places and stocking them up, I am not like with that. I kind of want to stay out of the way and behind the scenes. So I thought that me moving my business online versus in person was the best idea for me. At that point, I had a storage unit with my machines in it and I decided to sell all of my machines. I even g gave away one machine to a kid who was interested in it and I'm just like yeah I'm over it. I'm actually gonna go through with this other way so that I can help you guys. There's a lot of other things that you can do inside the vending industry instead of placing the machines and stuff. So I don't want y'all to think that I'm quitting my vending business because I'm not. I'm not quitting. I found another way to make me the money that I was trying to make 
by placing machines and putting products and everything and honestly I kind of like this way a little bit more because I'm a lot more flexible and I can kind of do what I want to do when I want to do this kind of worked out a little bit for me because I do have other businesses and I do have school to do and I do have a lot of other, other things to do so this is perfect for me so no I am not quitting my vending machine business I don't want anybody to think that don't think I'm quitting baby because I'm not quitting I'm just finding a different route same goal different path and also it will help you guys a lot more because i'll be able to actually give you the time that you need and the information that you need and the knowledge that you need to start your own vending machine business i've done it so i will share my personal experience with you so that you won't make any mistakes that i made so with this online change starting, I'm sure everybody's gonna be very excited because I always get messages about what can I do, can you help me? And so now I'm finally giving you guys what y'all been asking for. I'm gonna be there to help y'all every step of the way. The first step is gonna be buying my first ebook. It's published now and I will definitely link that in the description because I'm, I'm very excited about it and I'm happy about it and I'm ready to just go ahead and let you guys read it and see what you think about it. So be on the lookout for that. And if you're interested in starting your vending business, that's a great way. I feel like it's going to be really cool for me anyway because I don't mind, you know, I'm very good with words. I can explain to you how to do something very easily and I honestly like to see someone who doesn't know anything and then I give them the tea and they're like okay I got it now and I, I think that's beautiful I will be consulting with people about their vending machine business so if you have questions be sure to let me know I don't want y'all to think that I am quitting my vending machine videos because they will not stop okay I will not stop making the vending machine videos for you guys I will not stop answering you guys questions this is just something that I'm doing behind the scenes. I'm taking my physical business and putting it all online. It's just going a different way. So I, I encourage you guys to keep going in your vending machine business and don't stop. If one way don't work out, find another route that works for you. And it's okay. It is totally fine. All right, so I, I appreciate you guys for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And we will be back next time. See you later. Bye. -bye.